I will now discuss placing controls on the form. You do so by going to the toolbox and selecting the control that you want. I will select for demonstration purposes the command button. One way of placing this control onto the form is by double clicking in the toolbox. Double clicking places that command button directly on the form. Once it's on the form it can be resized by using the blue sizing handles. It can be moved to another location on the form so simply by clicking in the middle and dragging. Another method of, move, of selecting and placing a control on the form is to click once in the toolbox and then bring the cursor over to the form and you'll notice that a crosshair will develop. At that point you simply click, draw, and drag to place the control onto the form. Once again, once on the form it can be moved, resized, and so forth. Just be aware if you use the double click method, that is double clicking the command button, as you'll notice a third command button now has been placed over top of my first command button. This is not a problem, it's just that you need to be careful that you're moving the right command button. If you wish to delete a command button, it is easy, in fact, too easy. All you need to do is make sure that command button has the focus. The focus is the command button that has the blue sizing handles around it. So by clicking on Command 2, for example, and pressing the delete key, as you can see immediately Visual Basic has deleted that command button. Note that Visual Basic did not prompt me and ask me, are you sure? As you might expect in many Microsoft type applications. It assumes when you press the, the delete key that you really do want to delete. The good news here is that if you had written some code associated with that command button, all you've deleted is the command button itself and not the code. Once controls are placed on the form, you then might want to affect the properties of these controls. Drawing your attention to the properties window, you'll notice that the properties window is now referencing command 1. One of the more common mistakes that programmers make is that they're not careful as to which control has the focus. If I click on command 3, you'll notice in the properties window that now command 3 is what I am operating on. Likewise, if I click on the form itself, the properties window is now referencing form 1. So with one mouse click, it is very easy to change something that you did not intend to change. Clicking back on command 1, you'll notice in the properties window that there are two tabs. One is the alphabetic tab and one is the categorized tab. I personally prefer to use the alphabetic tab. I can find things easier if they're in alphabetical order. You will notice, however, even in the alphabetic tab, that the, the name control, the name property that is, for this control, is at the top of the list. That is the only property which is out of alphabetical order. We'll talk more about naming controls very soon. At this point in time, notice that Visual Basic does give you a default name, in this case Command 1, Command 3, Form 1 for the form itself. One of the more confusing aspects of Visual Basic and properties is that not all controls have the same properties. For example, if we notice Command 1, and you'll notice there is a caption property for this command. If I scroll down the properties list to the T's, you'll notice there is not a text property. If, on the other hand, I go to the toolbox and select a text box, and click and drag and draw that text box onto the form. With the text box having the focus, looking in the properties window, I notice there is a text property for this text box. It in fact says text1. If I scroll up to where the caption property would normally be, you'll notice there is not a caption property for a text box. Yet the caption property for a command button is what the user sees, that is command1. If I retype command 1 and say this is the caption, you'll notice that as I type that, that the caption of the control is being changed on the form. Likewise, if I select the text and go to the text property of the text box and type in this is text, you'll see that that's what the user sees. Two different properties, caption for command buttons, text property for text boxes, they're very similar, yet they have different functions and different names. 
One final note about the caption property. You'll notice when I make the form the focus, refer to the properties window, and go to the caption property for the form, I can rename or recaption the form by typing in this is VB as the caption property and you'll notice on the form itself that this is VB is now my caption for my form. So virtually everything that's on the form including the form itself can change its size, its shape, and what the user sees. As you'll see in coming lessons you can change things like the color as well as the features and the functionality of the various controls.